For what purpose does the gentleman from Kentucky seek recognition? Madam Speaker, I request a unanimous consent to address the House for one minute and revise and extend my remarks. Without objection, the gentleman is recognized for one minute. Madam Speaker, we know the Democrats' hyper-partisan closed-door impeachment process lacks any semblance of fundamental fairness. We know from the transcript between President Trump and President Zelensky that there was no quid pro quo. But what many people don't know is this. In 2014, this House unanimously passed the Ukraine Freedom Support Act, which tasks the executive branch to use U.S. assistance to bolster democratic institutions of Ukraine and counter corruption and improve transparency and accountability of the Ukrainian government. Every Democrat voted for this measure. In 2017, this House overwhelmingly passed the National Defense Authorization Act, which required the administration to certify as a condition of providing assistance that the government of Ukraine has taken substantial actions to counter corruption and increase accountability. 145 Democrats voted for that. And in, 19, in 2019, the NDAA that passed this House required that certification requirement again. And 139 Democrats voted for that. So here's the bottom line. Given recent elections, President Trump not only had the authority to address the issue of corruption Gentlemen, in the time call expired. with President Zelensky, he had a legal duty to Gentlemen, seek time and, and secure assurances from the new Ukrainian government that those anti-corruption measures would be carried forward. Gentlemen, the Democrats are trying to impeach the president for following a law. Gentlemen, is that no longer recognized. Vote.